Charlie 3, Delta, Victor Tango, Rockville, Maryland. Ah, uh, Roger, Roger. Uh, and what's the name there? Name there? Name is uh, Mark, Mark Alpha, Romeo Snow. Ah, uh, try one more time, please, sir. Please, sir. I get uh, Mark, Mark Alpha, Romeo Zero. Okay, I got um, Alpha Romeo Kilo, the last part, is that correct? That's correct. Okay, let me give it another try here, okay, that's Mark, M-A-R-K. I got you, sir, Mark, Roger. Roger. Okay, it looks like I'm uh, pushing into the uh, ALC, uh, maybe a bit heavy right now, you're checking out people's audios, if I understand, the QSL. Oh, that's correct. That's correct. What you want to be is between mid-scale and two-thirds on your ALC. Uh, the idea is that uh, you just stay out of the red. You don't want to get... You know, when you get your feet in the red, you know, then you track it all over the place and people get upset. So if you just uh, stay out of the red on your ALC, and I suggest mid-scale to two-thirds would do that. Roger? Roger. on a meter. I have an FC 757 GXC. That's an old JC set. And uh, so that uh, I see uh, some uh, encroachment to the ALC over. Okay, uh, I would suggest, do you know how to uh, get to your uh, your uh, audio uh, equalization? Uh, well, this is a rather old set, so uh, it's, it's not an SDR. It's a system and analog set. It's probably about 30 years old, over. Ah, so you don't have uh, inboard uh, EQ uh, uh, controls? Controls. Uh, no, okay, so uh, I think uh, on the microphone, I think I a, uh, a feature there that goes in a, uh, a high frequency uh, 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 loop on the uh, uh, signal. So I, so I selected another position right now, if that makes a difference to your copy. I'm only copying you about uh, 2 dB above uh, uh, Milford uh, PA SDR's noise level. I'm uh, only copying you. Th I'm copying you through the uh, Milford PA SDR, and you're about uh, 2 dB above their local noise level. Roger. Roger. All right. Okay. Yeah. Back to the original setting there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have you on that. Uh, uh, your call sign, I got a KT9, but uh, I don't have the rest of it. The suffix, if you would repeat that for me, uh, please, slowly and phonetically. Ah, uh, Roger, Roger, Roger. The call sign is Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor. I repeat, Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor. And the name is Jim, Juliet India Mike. Jim yeah, Mike. Jim, I got you on that. Uh, KC9, uh, uh, Victor Kilo, Victor. Okay, fine there. Okay. Well, very good then. Uh, uh, speaking with you, you probably have a lot of other people you want to talk to, but uh, I have more QSL topics if you wish to go ahead. Uh, well, um, <laughs> I would just give you suggestions on your radio. Uh, usually I suggest uh, if you have a compressor to put that compressor in line, uh, but only at about a 3. If your compressor is a, a, zero, a 1 to 10, I would run it on a 3. If it's 10 to 100, I would run it on 30. So you just want to introduce the uh, compressor, uh, not uh, drastically, but just uh, marginally, a uh, 3 out of 10 that starts the uh, fattening process. Roger, Roger. Roger. Okay, Roger, yeah. Uh, this radio just simply has a uh, processor button. Let's, let's, uh, let's take it off and see what happens. Hold on. Okay, now uh, I, I have the uh, processor off and I uh, get close to the mic to see that I uh, dip into the ALC at all. So I don't know how this sounds. 
Uh, your peak 100% uh, uh, level is the same with or without the processor. Obviously, it's just a matter of the processor doing a little fattening over it not being in, in line. But uh, sometimes, uh, uh, if you get too much uh, uh, processing, it takes, actually, it takes away from the ability to discern uh, words. And the, the whole game of communication is understanding the words words that uh, the other party is speaking. So uh, I think uh, in, in furtherance of that cause, I usually am in favor of uh, quite uh, active uh, uh, top-end EQ, and uh, sometimes we have to uh, switch out our old uh, dynamic mics for uh, the newer condenser mics if our radio is capable of uh, running them, which means, uh, unless you want to get really complicated, that the uh, uh, radio audio cable has a DC on it, like the, the newer radios, you know, and if you have that, then you can run a, a, a condenser hand mic, uh, which is really an electret hand mic, and you'll wind up with a lot better uh, active uh, top end, which really helps when you get into marginal situations. Like if you're giving somebody a 40 over, I mean, you could use a barbed wire fence and, uh, you know, put two uh, uh, cups, uh, what are they, foam cups uh, together and talk that, that way if, you're, if you got that kind of signal. But if you're uh, like 90% or 80% of the transmissions that you're somewhere around uh, in the noise, uh, then you want your audio to be as our articulated as possible to where they can understand the words you're speaking although you're technically under their noise level. I mean, you, sometimes they don't even see your signal above their noise level, but if your audio is articulated, they can understand the words. Roger? Roger? Okay, yes, Roger, and, and okay, and uh, so that, uh, yeah, this is rather old set. I've been looking, uh, considering uh, uh, replacing this radio at a, uh, uh, I bought it used uh, from uh, someone that I know, and, uh, but uh, anyway, uh, ICOM 1700 seems to be very popular, they hit a very good price range with that radio, and uh, and so that I've also looked at IC7100, uh, that uh, considering uh, uh, a station in a, a box there that covers everything on up through uh, UHF, I believe. But uh, it has B Star and also Yesu is uh, featuring the uh, C4FM and uh, some of their sets now. Uh, so that, uh, well, you know, I'm going to be making some decisions on new equipment here, QSL. Oh, Roger that. Well, if you get a chance, uh, <laughs> you'll fall in love with the ICOM 7300. It's a lot of dough, but it's a lot of radio. And it's just such a such a beautiful radio. Now, mostly my experience with that radio is uh, uh, audio uh, transmit setups. Uh, I, I don't do anything with a receiver because I don't get to, to play with that much, but uh, I have uh, played with about 130 to 140 setups on uh, ICOM 7300s, and they're just a just a beautiful radio, and I, you would be it would be worth every cent uh, if you if you were to get that. Uh, and uh, the thing is, uh, th that hand mic that comes stock with a 7300 is just an outstanding microphone. It's just a, you know it's an electric condenser microphone, and it just shows off that radio so good. About the only thing that you would need to get would be a windscreen that you could put over the hand mic. Uh, uh, and that would solve any of the uh, the problems that that mic might have. Uh, right at the moment, uh, you have to work that microphone uh, across it rather than into it because it is an electret microphone. But if you were to be running uh, that microphone with a windscreen, oh gosh, it would just be beautiful, Roger. Roger. Okay, fine. Yes, all right. Uh, okay, well, as I, uh, as I pursue things there, uh, you know, I belong to a local group here, which is the Montgomery Amateur Radio Repeater Group, and uh, um, you know, there's a debate in the club what repeaters they're going to put up or what capabilities they're going to get uh, with the repeater, whether they're going to go C4 or FM or they're going to do a uh, uh, D-Star. Uh, but uh, the Yacy has been rather, uh, I guess, aggressive in, in uh, fielding uh, their uh, repeater uh, systems uh, for uh, relatively 
inexpensively, so it remains to be seen what's done on that. Now, now the IC7300, that goes up to, what, uh, uh, 6 meters, uh, 7100 to cover the uh, as well. And I don't know much about that uh, that setup there. Perhaps you may know something more about it, QSL. Uh, Roger. Well, the uh, the um, 7610 uh, has a, a beautiful item. It's called Drive. And what Drive is is a um, uh, external. Um, audio expansion situation where they can, you know, like I usually try to uh, set up radios with about a 3 dB dynamic range because it's uh, usually uh, clean and uh, it does have a little life in the audio. It's not up against the wall. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So it is pleasant and it is loud. Uh, but the 7610 with that drive control can take right on from where the uh, uh, the other radio leaves off and can take that uh, dynamic range. I've seen that 7610 do half a dB of uh, dynamic range audio. And that means that, you know, if you were to be looking at, uh, like I was looking at the audio of that uh, uh, from my receiver output, you know, where you usually have a VU meter that's flopping around, da, 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 when you reach a half a dB of dynamic range, that meter no longer is moving like a, a VU meter. It looks more like a plate, uh, plate uh, uh, voltage meter. It just is quivering right there at uh, zero level. You know, it's just uh, maybe a half a dB back then, then up to zero. So as they speak, instead of that meter moving around like you would think, it's just hanging up there, and that's that is because of that drive capability. So that basically, I think, from the transmit side, is the only uh, real difference between the 7610 and the uh, uh, the other radio from ICOM. ICOM. Yeah. And I think the band is uh, going variable on us. Uh, you dropped down uh, pretty low there. We got about a uh, uh, three, uh, an S3 uh, uh, noise level here, and you're speaking about an S5. And so, but uh, I think the band is, is, is sort of following us. But certainly appreciate the information that uh, you've given me, and that gives me more to think about there. So, uh, all right. Well, I'll send me to Jim. Uh, uh, do you have a um, a QRZ, I'll put you in the QRZ uh, right now, and uh, so 73, Jim, thank you, this is uh, KCC DVD, I'm clear with KC9, Victor, Kilo Victor. Roger, roger, Mark, and just to give you an example, uh, let me drop down to 100 watts. Uh, we are at 100 watts now. This is uh, 100 watts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's back to a KW, so that's the, uh, that's the difference between a KW and 100 watts, roger. That's roger. Roger, that was one here. Roger, roger. Well, let me say three, Mark, and uh, if you get a chance, uh, drop back by next uh, Friday afternoon between uh, uh, 3.30 and 5 uh, Eastern Daylight Time. Love to hear what you've been up to and uh, all that stuff. So we'll say threes for now, and uh, you have a good afternoon and a good weekend. Uh, this is KC9 VKV and the QSO Vlog Network. If you've got a radio, you want to check out the audio, give us a shout. We are recording. Recording.